Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna be talking about Netflix's a film, Lost Girls. This is my daughter, Shannon Maria Gilbert. There's one here for every day that she's missing. Lost Girls is rated R. It is an hour and 35 minutes long. So Lost Girls was released on Netflix. March the 13th, um, it is actually based on a true story um, upon the book of the same name and it is about the Long Island serial killings. So the story follows Mari, which is, I, I don't think that's how you say her name. Yeah, no, I'm horrible. If you guys are new, I am horrible with pronouncing names. So I know how to say her real name. So the, the story follows Amy Ryan's character and who is on a search to figure out what happened or where her daughter is when she went missing um, while she was out on a job. Um, her daughter was a prostitute. It's about a lot of uh, killings that happened um, in Long Island uh, during this time and they were all sex workers. She's basically being a detective. She is doing police work because honestly the police um, don't want to do anything. Don't want to help. Don't want to uh, try to uncover what happened to her because she was a sex worker. It's kind of like well whatever. She, they're To them they're like at the bottom of the food chain like you know who cares that this prostitute was murdered when missing killed whatever because at this point they don't really know what happened to her she's just literally missing so in the midst of mari basically like snooping or being nancy drew basically ended up forcing them to really look for her daughter and coincidentally they ended up finding bodies it was a total like coincidence that these bodies ended up being found i really don't want to give you guys any spoilers i mean it is based on a true story i didn't know anything about it but i don't watch the news so i don't know if this went like nationwide or if it was just you know with you know that town or that state that this was happening in i don't know you have to let me know down below if y'all remember something like this um i i don't watch the news so i don't know um i watch the news now because well semi watch the news now because of everything that's going on the police in this movie you guys will piss you off because they don't do shit the movie is more of a duller darker tone type of movie it is uh has a lot of grays in there there is nothing happy about this movie so it's not just about the missing daughter but also you do get a few skeletons that are in um the closet at home just like everybody who has it so she really had um her missing daughter to think about plus what was going on at home which is actually really sad uh, about one of the daughters who does have a mental illness um i, I kind of wish they went a little bit more into that um maybe even have like another story another movie or if in the book um they go more into detail i don't think so because i think the book was written by a reporter so it really is just focusing upon uh, the Long Island killings. I would like to go a little bit further into detail on, on the um, other younger daughter because I mean she was going through some stuff and just like the outcome of what happens with her ultimately kind of seems a little bit more interesting than what's happening over here. And mind you over here we are having like a serial killer okay but still I actually think it may have made the story a little bit more interesting if we had gone a little bit more into her mental illness um it would have i think i think it would have maybe sparked up the movie the entertainment value just a tad bit more so it's an hour and 35 minutes long and felt a little bit longer to be honest with you um there were certain uh, instances that i did grab my phone so that's really never a good sign um, so that's really all i'm gonna say i think i ended up talking longer than i anticipated to which is what i always do right you guys uh but i mean overall i don't think it's a must watch movie i'm actually only gonna uh rate it a small popcorn i mean we're in quarantine well a lot of people are in quarantine we're not mandatory lockdown yeah i don't know if we're gonna be getting that um anytime soon so i mean i guess you can add this to your rotation eventually but i don't think it's one that you should really just like oh let me go and watch the movie itself actually 
already kind of fading away from my mind i did watch it that week that it came out but i'm not gonna lie i kind of had to read a little description about the movie to kind of refresh my memory because it was already basically like gone i mean it's not like a memorable movie it is a very interesting story but after i did watch the movie i did actually google the actual story and so there was way more that's how i know what happened more in detail with the other daughter who has a, a mental illness so that, so that is kind of what stuck with me a little bit more, not necessarily the actual movie, but the actual true story. So I would recommend for you to actually read just the story itself. Um, that just would be more interesting, to be honest with you. If you've seen Lost Girls on Netflix, what did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you if you read the book or listen to the book if you're an audible lover like me let me know down below how that was uh, but that's all that i have for you guys for now um before you guys pick up this video don't forget to hit a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified until that i post something new stay safe everybody and until everything is cleared up i'll see you guys at concessions bye